Today's rally was led by a pipe band, but the miners' leaders, Mr. Lawrence Daly and Mr. Michael McGahey, were in the front rank of the marchers. The demonstration was against the government's pay policies in general, but the miners' confrontation was clearly uppermost in most people's minds. The police estimated that up to 3,000 people marched along Princess Street and up Lothian Road to the Usher Hall for the rally. And once inside, they made it crystal clear who they blamed. The conductor was Mick McGahey, and he was the first speaker. I want to make clear that I speak here not only as Scottish president, but as national vice president of our union, calling upon our members for a massive vote of yes for strike action in order to establish wages. After that standing ovation, Mr. McGahey turned to the accusation that the miners would be breaking the law. There is no greater law, in my opinion, than loyalty to one's class. The last speaker was Lawrence Daly, who also got a standing ovation. And I've already sent the letter yesterday to the National Coal Board saying if we get the answer that we want in the ballot, the strike will start on the 10th of February. The support of the two and a half thousand people who packed the Usher Hall today for strike action could not be doubted.